In the previous video, I explained everything about Altium 365 and how we can create a workspace and link our local environment to that workspace, right? So in the last video, we created a workspace called Rootset and let's go to that workspace. So basically, this is our workspace and if we go to projects, here we can see two projects that are currently linked to this workspace. All right, now let's go back and in this video i'll be showing you how the version control of altium 365 works okay first let's select a project let's select this hid controller arduino we have a schematic as well as a pcb design so this is the schematic file and here we have the pcb design so first thing we need to do is we have to make this project available in our workspace online for that simply right click on that make project available online click on yes make sure that version control is ticked let's give it a description hid controller click on ok click on yes Now this project and every file related to this project will be uploaded to a workspace online. Now click on close, everything has been uploaded. Now go to workspace, open the browser. Now go to projects. And yes, here we have a project uploaded, right? Let's check it. Okay, so here we have the schematics. Let's check the PCB file so here we have the pcb design and here we have the 3d design as well as bill of material all right now let's go back to schematics and let's take a look at the history so here we have the first project commit all right now let's go back to altium pcb designer let's go back to schematics so guys now let's make one small change to the circuit Let's remove this potentiometer that is connected to A0 of Arduino. So let's delete it. Now we only have one potentiometer, right? And save the schematics. Okay guys, now we have made a small change to the circuit, right? Now let's see what are the changes that we have made now when compared to the file that we committed a few minutes back. Alright, for that, let's right click on this project, go to history and version control. And here we have made changes to the schematics. So select schematics 2 and click on latest commit. So this will open up the browser once again. Alright. So if you take a look at the schematics right here, we can see that this was the component that we removed just now and this component was connected to the second pin of 3v3 header and this terminal was connected to the ground pin of Arduino and here in the left side we have all the details about the components and the modifications that were made all right now let's close this window once again let's go back to Altium PCB designer and let's commit these changes right click history and version control and click on commit whole project let's add a comment removed port 1 and click on commit and push alright now the changes will be reflected in the workspace now let's go back to the workspace and just refresh it so here we go so guys here we can see the second commit that we have made with the comment removed port 1 right and now the design differences is being calculated now let's refresh it so here we go here we have removed this component right here and we have made changes to these nets all right so here we have the first commit and here we have the second commit with the changes now let's repeat it once again just for us to make sure all right now let's go back to altium pcb designer and delete this potentiometer all right now just save it now let's check the differences from the previous commit for that simply right click on the project go to history and version control and compare schematics to 
latest commit all right it will open up the browser again all right here is a component that we have removed the first terminal was connected to this pin and the second terminal was connected to the ground pin of arduino and in the left side we have all the details about these components we have removed this component and we have modified these three nets all right now let's close it go back to altium pcb designer let's commit a change once again go to history and version control commit the whole project and let's give it a comment removed all potentiometers and click on commit and push okay the changes have been uploaded now let's go back to the browser and let's refresh so here we have the latest commit and from this comment we can understand that we have removed all potentiometer from the schematics all right now the design differential is being calculated okay here we have this component removed and we have made modifications to these three nets all right guys this is how the version control of altium works so guys i just want to show you one more thing how can we compare the changes that we made on one commit when compared to the previous commit for that simply right click here here we have a tab called compare and schematics to and select the previous commit or we can select the commit that we want so let's select the previous commit okay now we have the schematics open and if you zoom in right here okay guys basically these are the changes that we made in this circuit when compared to the previous commit okay guys this is how we use version control mechanism in altium 365 this is a really good feature if you are working on huge projects with multiple teammates we have done a lot of pcb projects right and in each project i have explained different features of this altium 365 and altium pcb designer so if you are interested in learning more about Altium PCB Designer or PCB Designing in general, make sure you check out our previous videos. If you have any doubts regarding Altium PCB Designing or Electronics, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you in the next video.